Hi, it's Corrine for Wild Orchid Crafts Design Team. And first I'd like to apologize for my voice. Um, I wanted to share a project with you today that I do have a start to finish on it that I will play here in just a moment. But there were a few things that I wanted to explain real quick before I started the video. I made this little box which turned out absolutely adorable. It's going to be a gift box. And I used black cardstock. It's a cut from the online silhouette store. So that'll be linked in the description box below. And this box, I haven't measured it actually. It measures about six and three quarters and it's about three inches deep. So it's a really nice size box. And this design paper here is from the Spooky Collection from Cartabella. So it's a Halloween collection. Um, it's from their Halloween collection, but I absolutely love this pattern. So I wanted to use it for something not Halloween-ish. And I used a laser cut from Wild Orchid Crafts along with some of their flat back pearls, some of these glitter balls that I absolutely love to use. And they're gorgeous flowers. I have some hip rosebuds, some cottage flowers, large wild roses, um, a Tuscany rose, and little tiny open roses along with some of their leaves in the back there. And this saying here, this is printed on um, designer or digital paper and it is by Karina Gardner. It's Always Do collection and this saying it says always believe that something wonderful is about to happen that is also from the Silhouette online store. So you'll find all that information along with links to all these beautiful Wild Orchid craft flowers in the description box. And also I wanted to show you because I didn't explain this on the video. To me this needed something around the edge of this box. I was originally going to put pearls the like the same pearl strand that I used here but I just didn't like the look of it so I just did a black frame cutout and I used this gorgeous trim from Hobby Lobby and then again the flat back pearl strand and it has dividers in it and so I put some beautiful chrysanthemums and um, open roses and wild roses in here so these also will be linked in the description box below so it makes for a great gift box I hope you stay tuned for the start to finish. It's a quick video and please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's project. You'll find all the links in the description box. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.